Hello everyone, this is Funny. You are watching Funny Chess Info. Today I am going to talk about neutralization of chemicals. Spill of hazardous substance must be observed, neutralized or controlled at the time of incident in an order to maintain workplace safely. Acid and base neutralization helps to make spilled materials safer to handle and helps decrease the cost of disposal. The basic principle of neutralization of base or acid requires either hydroxide ions in a base for neutralizing an acid or hydrogen ion in an acid for neutralizing a base. Some of the safety instructions for neutralizing chemicals. Mixing of chemicals is always potentially dangerous, so always be careful with neutralizing any chemical. Consider carefully if a hazardous gas may be formed during the neutralization process. While selecting chemical for neutralization, consider there is no health and safety issue while handling that chemical, how to store and at which location to be stored which is easily accessible. The users must consider the concentration to be used, must carefully analyze all chemistries involved, must review manufacturer's warning and instructions and must consider common safety measures for hazardous liquids. The most common neutralizing chemicals are sulfuric acid, carbon dioxide which converts water into carbonic acids, boric acid also called as hydrogen borate, caustic also known as caustic soda, calcium hydroxide also known as liquid lime, ammonium hydroxide also known as 9% liquor ammonia, potassium bicarbonate also called as potassium hydrogen carbonate, potassium permanganate also called as condis crystal, sodium hypochlorate is called Dakin solutions and sodium thiosulfate also called as hypo. In most cases sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide will be used. Carbon dioxide which converts water to carbonic acid. In cement pouring operations large amount of alkaline waste treated with carbon dioxide. Base pills should neutralize with boric acid example NaOH and KOH. Caustic soda neutralizes the acids and forms salt to be used for weak bases only example sulfuric acid. Slake lime Slake lime due to its low toxicity and mildness of basic properties it is widely used in a neutralizing acidic materials whose pH is less than 7 example HCl. 9% liquor ammonia the reaction between posygen and ammonia gases produces urea and ammonium chloride, hence it is used for bromines and triposygens. Potassium bicarbonate reacts with an acid and forms potassium salts and liberates carbon dioxide gas. It is used for inorganic acids like HCl. Potassium permanganate distracts the cyanide by reaction into cyanate, used for neutralizing only, example for cyanates, NaCN. Sodium hypochlorite kill the cyanide and produce nitrogen and carbon dioxide. It is used for aldehydes like a crotonaldehyde. This is about the most common neutralizing agents used for neutralizing the chemicals in case of spillages. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and share my videos. Have a safe day.